Well, this week, Hurricane Nicholas pounded the Texas coastline with strong winds and flooding rain. But a little more than 150 miles away in Austin, the weather has been really nice. Meteorologist Carlo Falco explains some of the weirdness that hurricanes can bring to the weather. The weather this week has been bad along the Texas coast. Many areas near Houston have seen very strong winds and a ton of rain. We're around two inches out on the west side of Houston in the western part of Harris County. And then down in the east and southeastern parts, the mountains picked up quite a bit, anywhere from four to five inches down there uh, in that part of the county. And then much higher amounts as you move southward toward Matagorda Bay. But here in central Texas, it's almost the opposite. The weather has been really nice, dry, cool, and rain-free. And rainfall amounts in the, Houston, in the Austin area were, were next to nothing. That rain disparity comes down to how a hurricane gets its energy. The majority of the energy comes from condensation of warm ocean water. When the water condenses, it releases heat into the atmosphere, which helps drive the massive engine that is a hurricane. Well, those warm sea surface temperatures will what, what help uh, basically provide the fuel uh, to a storm. But the same storm that can be so dominant in the right conditions can be affected significantly by many variations. Most commonly is wind shear or colder ocean temperatures. In Texas's case, it was dry air from Oklahoma and West Texas. Most of that dry air uh, was uh, located up over Oklahoma and into the uh, western uh, part of Texas. That dry air evaporates the water in the middle atmosphere and evaporation works opposite to condensation. It cools the air, effectively shutting down the hurricane's energy source. You get dry air that gets pulled into the storm and that cuts down on the processes that develop showers and thunderstorms. And, uh, and that does not, hurricanes do not like that. As that dry air gets pulled further into the hurricane, the storm will weaken and the rain will shift to areas that still have lots of moisture to work with. And since Texas has plenty of dry air to give, that pushes the heaviest rain to the eastern side of the storm. That's also why hurricanes have a somewhat lopsided look to them as they make landfall. Carlo Falco, Fox 7 Austin Weather.